Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about why the North Swedish horse failed and other horse breeds as well. In the last video I made about horses being failures in Star Stable, somebody commented and told me, well, is the horse actually a fail if people bought it? And I get that. But the point of this type of video is to explain why the horse could be considered a failure to players. Because, yeah, maybe the horse is pretty, but doesn't meet the standard. And to me, if the horse doesn't meet the standard, then you can't really call it a success. Because if it is so successful, why are so many people so upset over the horse breed? For example, the Frisian. So many people are angry at that because Star Stable basically tried to include us in the process, and then when we gave our feedback, they were like, oh well, and ignored us, and then rushed the horse out for Christmas. So, getting into it, number one, the North Swedish horse. This horse breed is really forgotten at this point. Many players didn't like it because of the animations when it first came out, or it was because of the shading, because multiple North Swedish horses have purple tint in them even though they are meant to be real colors, not magical colors. These purple undertones upset a lot of players, and although the purple undertones could mix in really well if you ride the horse in Mistfall, a lot of people still didn't really enjoy the, how that was included. The Rune Runner also is a North Swedish model, and many older players are upset at this because for all the hard work you put in to get this free horse, it is a shame the horse is not special in any way. It is just a reskin. Next up, the Arabian horse, because they actually get lots and lots of love. I rarely ever see somebody get angry at the Arabian horse. Except one color for the model, a black and white Sabino colored horse, I believe that's how you say it, was listed as an NPC. This caused outrage because Star Stable makes very pretty colors but does not add them to the game or they add them as an NPC which we cannot buy. This upsets players who want pretty horses and this could easily be resolved if Star Stable sold us horses with just a base coat that we could customize by adding white markings or other cool things too. So when this NPC horse came out, or was at least in the game files, players had to protest to Star Stable just to get this breed added, as well as the flea bitten Arabian, from what I was told. Then, after protesting, Star Stable finally added the black and white Arabian and the flea bitten Arabian. Also, if you remember, the old paint horse model came with a black and white splashed coat color, and Star Stable did not add it to the paint horses. But recently, I made a video about it and saying why I want that color so badly, and now all of a sudden we have a black and white splashed limited edition horse that is magical. So, I guess you take what you could get. Next up is the Clydesdale, because the Clydesdale is pretty loved from what I could tell, but it's also forgotten at the same time. One reason why a lot of players got upset at this breed is because it is very clunky to ride, and also many of us expected to have a Red Bay Clydesdale with white socks, the iconic Clydesdale color. But then Star Stable didn't really add it ever to the game. They basically never added it. The closest thing we got was a Bay Sabino horse that is a Clydesdale. The app horse is similar to what we expected, but it is too dark in the shading to pull off the iconic color that you would typically see on Budweiser horses. Next up is the curly horse, because this horse got lots of anger coming from players due to how stiff the horse looks, and also many people said the horse's head looks like that of an alligator. Star Stable, from what I can tell, never fixed this. And next up is, shockingly, the Icelandic horse, because although they are very, very loved, 
For a while, the area they were at got so bugged that it could crash your game. It crashed mine, and also my inventory and character sheet began to glitch really, really bad. However, the colors of the horses and the animations are really, really good, but many players wanted a Palomino Icelandic horse, which we still haven't gotten. Which brings up the topic again of why doesn't Star Stable update the outdated coat colors? If there was a demand for them previously, there still is a demand now. It is not an update to a lot of people if the coat color isn't even there. There is no update for my old Palomino Icelandic horse if I don't have an updated version of it. Next up is the Trakener horse. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but when the horse came out, many people did not like the animations. Other people thought the animations were great. But basically, all players really wanted was a small edit, I believe, to the trot, because a lot of people thought the trot looked a little clunky. But Star Stable became torn and decided, why listen? And then they changed the animations entirely. And now, many players no longer like the horse they paid for. The animations also affected the main styles. Now the horse is so extremely identical to the starter model which many people rather avoid. Now, the Trakner horse can be found at the horse market. Some others can be found throughout Jorvik, but no one really talks about it anymore. And lastly, the dragon horse, because many players were hyped to get a dragon horse. However, some were disappointed at how it can't breathe fire, which could have been a good feature since the fjord was able to breathe out cold air. The dragon horses also didn't really have anything changed to them but their coat color. A lot of people just consider the dragon horse to be a reskin. Some features may have been taken from the seahorses and placed onto the dragon horses, but got edited. The dragons also don't really have wings at all, so a lot of people just think the dragon horse is a giant lizard horse. So there you have it, why these horses are disliked to the extent that they are. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like and comment how you feel. But yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye!